Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. All right, so let's read this problem. We're told we have a bunch of jelly tanks, not how many, just a bunch, okay? It's a collective volume. That means, think about that word, that means that we're adding the volume while the tank. So let's say we have tank one, I call it T sub one for tank one, tank two, and tank three. All right, so so far we have these three tanks. And they have a collective volume. If you add up the jelly in here, so you have kind of a weird context, collecting big vats of jelly. Um, if we add them all up, right, the total volume would be 1.6 times 10 to the seventh gallons. Think about that as 10 millions, right? 10 to the seventh is in the 10 millions place. So over 1.6 groups of 10 million. This is our total amount of gallons. They're saying, all right, so if you add another oil tank, so let's call it tank four, if you throw this into the mix, and this tank alone has a volume of two times 10 to the six gallons, or, right, they were two million. They want to know what would the new collective volume be? In other words, if you add this new group of tanks, what would you get altogether? So this is an addition problem, and I want to do it in scientific notation. We're going to add these two numbers. We're adding 1.6 times 10 to the seventh to two times 10 to the sixth. An easy way to do this, uh, or a manageable way to do this, is to get the powers of 10 to be the same. Otherwise, it's kind of confusing. You get these 10 millions and millions. How do you add them? So 10 to the 6th, I'll make it into 10 to the 7th by multiplying that by 10. But I can't change the value of this second number here, right? I don't want to change that value. I want to also divide this by 10. So an easy way to do that is to do, to do 2 divided by 10, which is 0 0.2. And 10 to the 6 times 10 is 10 to the 7th. So now we have both numbers in terms of 100 millions, or excuse me, 10 millions, right? So now I can line things up. 1.6 plus 0.2, we can line those place values up exactly to get 1.8. And this is in terms of 10 millions, so our answer is 1.8 times 10 to the seventh. Um, and they wanted the answer in scientific notation, so we've got it. Thanks.